So what is the ideal ejaculation frequency? I'm going to answer this question and give some specific recommendations in this video. But first, it's really important for you to understand the full context to this answer. And I believe you're going to find it highly informative. People often think that semen retention means not having sexual experiences and thinking ejaculation is devil work and should be avoided at all costs. And that's not true. Semen retention means holding your seed for a period of time. That's all. It doesn't mean you don't have sex. You might be having sex every day on semen retention. You're just not necessarily ejaculating every day. Now, before you semen retention celibacy purists hate on me, I absolutely celebrate anyone who is on a mission to never ejaculate or edge. If you want to be completely celibate, I support you too. I think we need people in the world who go to the different extremes of things and they experiment with uncharted territory. They're the artists, the visionaries, the sages and the monks of the world. And although I haven't done one in a while, I've done a few 90, 100 day complete abstinence streaks in the past. I've gone deep into the world of nofap. I used to be all over the forums and videos every day and I did a few videos on it myself that really blew up. So I know what that experience is like. It's wild. It's heroic. There's something to be said about going deep into a streak. There are these challenges you experience and insights about yourself that you get that are so deep and spiritually profound. And around the 90 day mark, there's a good chance that you're over a porn addiction if you ever had one. And you can actually get appropriately aroused around real people again. That's why they call it the 90 day reboot, right? Because the theory is that's how long it takes for your brain to reset from busting nuts to pixels every day. But does everyone need to do that? And is masturbation or ejaculation always necessarily bad? Here's my view after all these years. It seems like semen retention might suggest that it is bad. After all, it basically translates to not ejaculating. But I think a better translation is less ejaculating, or maybe a return to normal healthy sexuality. Now, if there's those of you who are out there who think you feel better aiming to never ejaculate or you absolutely love going on really long streaks all the time and trying to push it as far as possible. I know you're out there and if you've made an intelligent conscious decision about that, I celebrate you, all power to you. But the spiritual texts and a lot of this is influenced by aren't saying never ejaculate. They often advocate for balance. It's only a few sages that talk about extreme spiritual benefits after extreme periods of celibacy. For many of us, semen retention is almost like an antidote to the dysfunctional relationship with sexuality that our society has developed. It's no secret that within a tiny sliver of human history, sex has become over commoditized and porn is more widely available in infinitely higher definition than ever before with infinite novelty. If you think this isn't gonna have any effect on our brains and our society, then I really don't know what to say. If through concepts like semen retention, we aim to actually become present with real people, with our intimate partners, to not be overly fixated on how or whether we're gonna climax and finish all the time. And this is it, this can only be a good thing. So how you interpret the concept of semen retention and exactly how you practice it is a deeply personal thing and it can vary for different people. So the answer to the video's title has a little bit of nuance, but with all this context behind us, let's get to the question, what is the ideal ejaculation frequency for you? Here's my personal recommendations. There's a few of, there's a few of them. If you're trying to recover from heavy porn or masturbation addiction, I recommend going at least 90 days. If you feel you're not super heavily addicted, but you feel you use porn or fap a lot and you've been on a binge recently or something like that, I recommend at least 30 days. 
If you want to experience deep spiritual insights and radical positive life transformation, it's going to be a challenge, but it's worth trying to do at least once in your life. I would recommend doing 90 to 100 days. If you're at the stage where you've done a few long streaks and you've experienced it and you simply want to return to a model of healthy sexual, healthy balanced sexuality, I recommend once a week or once every two weeks. And I recommend not using porn very much, at least, or not at all. It's a bit like sugar. I'm not saying we should never eat sugar, but we all know that it can get bad for your health pretty quickly. So we have to be careful with these things. Also, the once every one or two weeks period lines up pretty well with the current scientific research. We see a peak in testosterone after a period of a week and then a return to baseline after. And that's why some people have adopted this once a week thing to take advantage of that cycle. However, we don't have the research for the modulation of testosterone on longer streaks. It might be that it peaks again or peaks even higher later on and I personally suspect that it does because I felt profound effects and changes going on in my body 70, 80, 90 days into a streak. So scientifically we just don't know. The key is experiment with what works best for you. The answer to this question is something that I can talk about and recommend but in reality you have to experiment to find out what's right for you. Experiment to find out your ideal ejaculation frequency. Experiment with different length streaks whilst you remain conscious and aware of your cognitive processes and energy levels and how things are affecting you. So tell me in the comments below what do you think the ideal ejaculation frequency is and if you didn't know, I have a whole comprehensive online text course called Semen Retention Mastery, which you can access for free now, and it will help you to master your sexual energy and become multi-orgasmic. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Hope this video helped. Peace.